Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have a to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 130. And we solve this problem for the uh, real values of x. Here you see that our x should must be an a real number. Okay. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, uh, we write this 8 into the prime factor form. And the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its power is x plus this is 2 to the power of x equals 130. So here we apply uh, the nice exponential law. So according to this law, if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, so if you can interchange these two exponents, it will be written as a to the power of n to the power of m. Okay, so according to this law, here we need to interchange these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of x and its whole cubed plus 2 to the power of x equals to 130. Okay, so further uh, you see here we have 2 to the power of x be the common term so that uh, uh, here we uh, take 2 to the power of x is equals to y so we have y equals 2 to the power of x so when you substitute um, 2 to the power of x equals y then our above equation is written as y cubed plus y equals to 130 okay so because we solve this problem for the real values of x it means that here our y is also should must be an real number okay so that here uh, we need this you see here this is cubic equation and now we solve this cubic equation uh, by factorization method we can easily make the factors of this cubic equation and you see here we have y cubed plus y we move this 130 in the left hand side and it will becomes minus 130 and this is equals to zero so further you see here uh, now we break its middle term so uh, its middle term is plus y and we write this y as minus 25y plus 26y minus 130 is equals to 0 okay so uh, here uh, you see that um, here we just take common uh, y from first two terms and the remaining terms are y squared minus 25 and here you have 26y minus we write this 130 as 26 multiplied by 5 equals to 0 we know that 26 times of 5 equals to 130 and now in the next step here we take common 26 from these terms and we write this term as y into y square minus we write this 25 as a 5 square. Here we take common 26 and the remaining terms are y minus 5 equals to 0. And further we use here another nice square identity. You know that if you have a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So now we apply this nice formula on this term only okay so when we apply this formula on this term so our above equation is written as y into y minus 5 into y plus 5 and plus this is 26 into y minus 5 equals to 0. And now you focus on all of these terms and you see here uh, we have y minus 5 be the common term so that here we take common y minus 5 and the remaining terms are y into y plus 5 and here you obtain plus 26 equals to 0. So further you see here we need some simplification and we write it as y minus 5 into here we multiply this y on both of these terms and it will become y square plus 5y plus 26 equals to 0 and now uh, uh, here we break this equation in two cases so that our first case is we take y minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square plus 5y plus 26 equals to 0 
and now from first case we easily get the value of y equals to 5 and you see here this value is clearly is the uh, real number okay uh, so here now uh, we focus on the second quadratic equation and now first we check that is this quadratic equation has a real root or not by applying the discriminant formula uh, so here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 5 and c equals to 26 and we know about the discriminant formula it is stated as b square minus 4 times of ac and now here we substitute the values of uh, a b and c in this discriminant formula and it will be written as uh, discriminant equals to b square the value of b is 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 26 so we know that a 5 squared equals to 25 minus 4 times of 26 uh, is equals to 100 and, uh, 104. So when you subtract a 25 by 104, then we obtain minus 79. So you see here our discriminant, the value of discriminant is less than 0. Uh, it means that if the value of discriminant is less than 0, it means that the uh, given equation has no real root, okay? Now, or it means that the given equation has complex roots, okay? So, we just write it here. Uh, it has no uh, real roots. Because this uh, quadratic equation has no real root, so that we rejected this case because we solved this problem for the real roots only, uh, so that uh, now uh, we proceed here only first case and in the first case you get the value of y equals to 5 and now here we back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem we will take here uh, y equals 2 to the power of x we back substitute this value here so you have 2 to the power of x equals to 5 and now in order to find the value of x here we need to take the log on both of the sides so that we take a log on both of the sides so you have log of 2 to the power of x equals to log 5 and here we apply the property of log and we move this exponent x in the front of this log and it will be written as x times of log 2 equals to log of 5 so because we find the value of x so we move this log 2 to the right hand side here it is multiply when we move in the right hand side it is divided by log 5 so you get log 5 is divided by log 2 and now further here we use the calculator or logarithmic table in order to find the value of x so you have the value of log 5 is equals to 0 0.6989 and it is divided by 2.3219 and now we divide again both of these values and finally you get the value of x is equals to 2.3219 and you see here clearly this is the real root and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos